So there's another couple of shortcuts that are helpful to remember, and these are fairly intuitive. And again, they're similar to previous versions of Final Cut Pro. But like to navigate from move to move your playhead within the timeline and navigate from clip to clip, you can use the up arrow to go backwards and the down arrow to go forwards. And that will stop at every clip beginning or end. And you see it's stopping here because there is a clip connection lean, linking to that voiceover clip there. So as you go up and down, it navigates clip to clip. You can press the home key to jump you to the head of the sequence or the end key to take you to the end of the sequence. And uh, of course, that's only on an extended keyboard where you've got it. You can also navigate numerically. So if you want to move your playhead back, let's say by one second, you can simply just type minus 1.00 and then press enter and your playhead moves back one second. Now watch when I do that. As soon as I type a minus or a plus, immediately our current time code field changes to indicate that it is uh, the playhead icon illuminates and it's actually showing a forward icon because we already typed a plus. So it automatically knows we're doing a forward number and whatever number I press, I'll say two dot and you see immediately as I type two dot, two zeros are entered automatically for me. If I was to type 05, it's smart enough to know that I mean two seconds in five frames. And then I just press enter to move the playhead that far. So anytime you see that light up in blue, that's indicative that you are now changing something, not just observing it. So when it's gray like this, you're just observing the current position. And as soon as I type a number, plus 25, uh, actually, that's another thing I'll show you is that when it, it automatically figures out, it converts frames into seconds. So actually, I'll clear that. I'm just going to escape to get out. So if you want to clear and you don't want to actually perform the numerical trim, press the escape key. But so I'm going to say plus, and then I say two, right? And it's saying, okay, two frames. But then as soon as I enter a second number, it's going to calculate that to determine whether I'm still in frames or moving on to seconds. This is a 24p project. So if I type 24, it immediately says 1.00. If I type to zero, you'll see that now it's converting 240 frames into three seconds and 16 frames. So whatever numbers that you type in there are going to automatically convert. If I press another zero, we go back to 2400 because it's 24 seconds is a legitimate number. So it's kind of a little tricky. As you're typing, it's automatically converting on the fly to show you the numbers that translate your seconds into your frames into seconds. So if I press enter now, it's going to move my playhead forward by 24 seconds, which in this case moves me past the end of the project. So again, anytime you type nine minus, it's going to move backwards. You see there's a little backwards icon, and I can again press a single number. I can press 23, which would be 23 frames, or 230 frames, which equals three seconds and six frames. So again, if, if you don't know how many seconds you want to enter, you can just type a number of frames and it will automatically convert it and hit escape to clear out. If you do want to enter a specific number of frames, again, just type minus three period and that period automatically jumps you to two zeros. If I type period again, now I'm moving three minutes earlier. And in fact, if you look down at the very bottom of the screen, this identifies the total duration of the project, two minutes and 56 seconds. So of course, if I do say minus three minutes, it's gonna take me all the way to the head because it can't go any further than that. And so it's, and this is your, your indication of how long your entire sequence is. So numerical navigation like that is really handy. And it's, again, once you get used to that and you start getting comfortable with those time code numbers, you'll start doing it intuitively. You won't even think twice. You just type, you know, plus two dot enter, and that moves me forward two seconds, or minus five dot five, minus five seconds in five frames, and so forth. So you can really get comfortable with that and start navigating very, very quickly.